Hi, it's How to Dentist channel. In the previous video, we talked about the theory of retraction of the gingival margin, and today more practice. Gum retraction is required when the tooth preparation is on the margin line or in the subgingival zone. The subgingival location of the preparation margin may be due to the deep destruction of the tooth or the alteration of the crowns made by the old school dentists who believe in subgingival preparation without a chamfer or underestimate the role of gingival retraction. Compliance with the retraction protocol ensures that the impression is obtained with the clear edges of the preparation. A model made from such an impression will help to see the vector of the restoration exit from the root of the tooth and make it without hyper or hypo contouring giving a poor quality impression to the dental laboratory, remember that you are not giving it to the magic academy. And the technician is not a tooth fairy who magically can reproduce the preparation edges and accurately engrave the die. Yes, retraction with subgingival preparation causes injury of the sulcus, but the chronic injury by a poor restoration, with which then it's necessary to struggle together with the parodontologist, is more dangerous. Retraction of gums begins with the selection of a cord. There is no uniform standard for their dimensions. Usually the encoding has numerical values according to the principles. Larger number, thicker cord, and more zeros, thinner cord. Pegging of cords carried out with the help of a special tool, pecker. Probing the gingival sulcus with a pecker helps with the choice of the size of cord. Working part of tool can be with denticles or smooth. Smooth is convenient to work with the cotton cords. The fiber does not cling. Pecker with denticles is more convenient to work with a synthetic cord. The cord does not slip. Working part must be very thin that unfortunately do not understand some producers. Handle and working part of each pecker are at different angles to provide access to various groups of teeth. However, it's preferable to place the packer in the frontal area, so that the arm was from the side instead of the front of eyes or chin of the patient that is not convenient for everyone. Movement of walking part of the tooth should be strictly in parallel to the root. At other direction, the cord springing on the gum will not be packed in sulcus, or there will be a periodontal injury. Retraction of the gum can be done using the technique of single or double cords. Retraction with single cord is applied with supragingival preparation. Often, these are the cords of the fine section. Four zeros, three zeros, or retraction pastes work within the biological width of the gingival sulcus. Recommendations on the length we show in one of the following videos. When packing the cord, make sure that the edge of preparation and after root space are fully visualized. The cord must be securely held in the sulcus by the correct size. We check cord fixation with the air from the poster, but with a moderate flow. At the final stage of packing the cord, its axis can be cut off. At the end can be joined together, or they can be packed with a second layer. Therefore, it's reasonable to start the retraction in a place where the greatest gum retraction is required. In case where preparation of the subgingival epithelia attachment is already violated, it's often necessary to perform retraction with two cords. Firstly, we set the first cord, often with the impregnation and the smallest diameter, but sufficient for holding. In this case, the thread can be completely impressed in the sulcus. Then set the second cord. The second cord provides a horizontal retraction, and for this it should be visualized on the entire perimeter. If the size is not selected correctly, or the cord is packed too tightly and deep, the gum will collapse with the tooth above the cord and it will not provide proper horizontal retraction. In this case, it can be a little pull back or pick up a larger cord diameter. Before taking the impression, the second cord should be removed and proceeds to the introduction of impression material. Check other episodes on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the following videos.